Good morning team. As I'm here coasting along in traffic, I've been thinking, I've had a lot of time to think about time. <laughs> you know, everybody these days is talking about time management, time management. You know, hey, can I do this? Can I do that? Time management, time management. I, I would like to pause for a second and really reflect on one thing. We all have the same amount of hours in the day, right? So how could we possibly manage time? What we really need to be focused on is self-management. Because in the end, we have a lot more time than we think we do. But we spend a lot of it just kind of chasing distractions. Who's ever seen the movie Up, right? All those dogs, they see the squirrel and they say, squirrel, and they look away, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of like our lives. We've got so many different things like hitting us and distracting us from what we really want to do. We, we want to stay focused. We want to be successful in accomplishing tasks. But realistically, we spend a lot of that time just kind of chasing other things that are non-productive. And we're constantly being hit by that. Little bleeps on our phones, on our computers, um, signs, you know, these billboards as you're driving into work. I mean, everything's like hitting us constantly. We've got more interruptions today than humans have ever had in the in the history of the world, right? There's uh, something just chopping away for our time. Look at me, shiny objects. So what I want to focus on is self-management. How can you train yourself to really get the most out of your day? And it all starts with this. Write this down. Write down everything that you do during the day. You know, from 8, 10 a.m. until 9.30 I spent on the Dallas North Tollway in traffic. Right now. It's awesome. You know, write that down. Well, what are you doing during that time? Are you just listening to the radio? Are you spacing out? Are you picking your nose? Or are you shooting a video? Which hopefully is safe, right? Are you listening to an audiobook, Which will increase your intelligence and other areas of your life, right? Look at the areas of your life that you need to focus on and self-manage to those areas, right? When you first get in the office or work, wherever it is that you're going, are you immediately getting stuff done that's productive? Or do you go hang at the, at the water cooler or grab a coffee cup, a co okay, coffee, right? Coffee, clearly I haven't had mine yet today. And sit around the coffee machine and put your feet up and kind of ease into your day. And by, by the time you really get started, it's like noon. And you're like, oh my gosh, what just happened? Right? Write that down. Got to office, spaced out. I think there was a movie about that somewhere. So, you know, go in and write down everything that you do for the day. And do this for the next week. And really look over it. And decide for yourself, are you being productive or are you not? I was talking to somebody the other day and they were saying, hey, look, I'm, I'm so busy. I've got my family and I've got work and I've got all these things hit me at once. And I, I just, I can't do this, Dave. It's just too much for me. And I said, okay, well, you know, last week, you know, last seven days, you had 24 hours a day, right? So that's what, 168 hours for the week, right? Now, true, we're all, you know, sleeping seven, eight hours a day. A night. Some of us are lazy and sleep like 12, but that's okay. God loves you anyway. Um, so we're sleeping seven, eight hours a, a night, but she really wrote down how many times she spent actually working on work. And shockingly, it was only 15 hours of true work. 15 hours. Now, true, she probably stressed out about that 15 hours for an additional 60 hours, but true in your seat, productive, getting stuff done was only 15 hours. So week one, we go through and we write down all the stuff that we've done for the day, uh, for the week, Our, hourly by hourly, right? I did this per hour. I did this per hour. I sat at the, on the couch. I pet the dog for an hour. I picked up the phone. I made calls for an hour, you know, write down everything that you do, everything. 
everything. I picked my ears and stared at the wall for 33 minutes. Write that down. Because that's going to tell you, one, what you're good at, and two, what your distractions are. Then step two, write this down. Because it's good to write stuff down. You're going to go through from top to bottom. And you're going to plan each hour of the day. And this time, you're going to be purposeful. You're going to be trained. You're going to be self-managed. Because now you're going to know what to do. You know what not to do because of all of your distractions that you wrote down the previous week. And you're going to know what to do because of all the productive things you've written down the previous week. So, self-management. You don't need additional time. Although 36 hours a day would be nice, what you need is to be productive with the time that you have, right? You don't need to live to be a million years old. You need to take right now and suck all the marrow out of life. Be great. Be focused on greatness. Spend time with your family, with your friends, work hard. Focus in on giving, be at church, build those interpersonal relationships, right? Because in the end, we don't want to be the people that said, hey, look, when I wrote down my time block, you know, I stared at the wall for 33 minutes every two hours. You want to be the person that says, hey, for 33 minutes, I read a book on interpersonal relationships and I went out and I practiced it on my coworkers, my friends, my church mates, my schoolmates, whatever it is. And you realize how much more fruitful your life is and how much happier you are and how much better those relationships are. So anyhow, guys, I hope you've had a great time today talking about time. Time to see you again.